if I were like face to face with Donald Trump in a intimate setting, you know, like across a table maybe, and we're have a chance for some conversation. I, I, I can't say I would go into it with an agenda of, okay, I'm going to say this, I'm going to say that to him, because it depends on where he's at, you know, what he's, what he's ready to hear, what he's wanting to say. What I know is that I would go into it knowing that he is not a bad person, that whatever... <laughs> whatever appalling things that he's said and done, there's a reason for those things. So maybe you might diagnose him as a uh, narcissist. So I think, what makes somebody into a narcissist? I think it originates in not being seen for who you really are. So you become addicted to making yourself seen, making yourself the center of attention. So I would go into it with the intention of seeing him as he really is, seeing him at the soul level. And whatever I would say to him would be to, would have an ulterior motive of expressing, I really see you. You don't have to impress me because I see you for real. I see the beautiful being that you really are. Now, I wouldn't necessarily say those words out loud. The Donald would probably get freaked out if I said that. But, you know, like, I would go into it like, yeah, I really want to understand you. I want to see you. And from that place, I would know what to say. And maybe there would be nothing to say. You know, it depends on if, if the conversation came at a time when he's, like, kind of questioning the way, things have, the way things have gone, and maybe in a state of openness and receptivity. You know, everyone has a diagnosis of Donald Trump, and I try not to go there. He's a man. So am I. I actually had a few dreams where I have had conversations with Donald Trump. This is actually an interesting thing that you brought up. And... Uh, we had extended conversations in, in, in a couple of these dreams. One was at a cafeteria, and we just talked about stuff. And Then uh, he invited me onto his private jet, but I wasn't able to do it, and we uh, kind of set the intention that we would meet up later, but he hasn't gotten back to me yet. Uh, and that was like one of a series of dreams I've had. I'm not sure if this should be like put out on a public video, but I'm not saying like we have like a psychic connection, but you know, the guy is like kind of an archetype. And, and because he so closely represents and embodies an archetype, he casts a very strong presence in the psyche. Like he takes up a lot of psychic space. So it's not surprising that, that you know, I mean, the, the unconscious and the dream world is um, a play of archetypes. So it's not surprising that he would come into my dreams and probably a lot of people have dreams where Donald Trump shows up. So I don't want to make anything like out of it, but it's kind of funny that, that I would be asked, what would I say to Donald Trump? Um, the answer is I don't know.